Here's the latest from Force 13 on Tropical Cyclone Judy. Currently a Category 2 system on the AU scale. Here's the latest from the Vanuatu Meteorological Agency and clearly see from the track that it's going to undergo further intensification and heading for Category 3 which will make it Category 2 on the international scale. Uh, Vanuatu is now doing three hourly uh, updates and it looks uh, quite impressive from the uh, the satellite imagery which is now being displayed on the screen at 2 p.m. local time Vanuatu agency has uh, duty down to 984 hectopascals category 2 located 13 decimal 8 degrees south 168 decimal 5 degrees east tropical cyclone duty is located about 105 kilometers east of Vanua Lavu 155 kilometers north north east of I think it's May Ewo. Apology for the pronunciation. It's a while since I've actually done an update on uh, the Fiji scene. Uh, maximum winds close to the centre estimated at 110 kilometres an hour or 60 knots. The uh, cyclone is currently tracking in a southerly uh, direction at a speed of 21 kilometres an hour or 11 knots. Destructive storm force winds of 88 kilometres an hour to 117 kilometres an hour or 48 to 63 knots gusting to 125 kilometres an hour 70 knots will affect 50 nautical miles northeast and southeast from the centre of the system damaging gale force winds to 63 kilometres an hour to 87 kilometres an hour, 34 to 47 knots, uh, expected to affect the provinces of Torba, Panama, Sabna and Malampa this afternoon and into the evening. And Vanuatu is which is indicating a peak of uh, 70 knots or 130 kilometres an hour. Joint Typhoon Warning Centre is also on board and they too are indicating that our duty is to undertake more intensification. Satellite analysis continues to show that Judy is struggling but expected to consolidate to develop a vertical aligned vortex in the face of moderate mid-level shear. This centre is also reporting that the environment for Judy remains very uh, favourable. with uh, 30, 31 Celsius sea surface temperatures. Strong equitable outflow. Overall deep layer shear remains low, five to 10 knots, but high resolution model data suggests moderate to strong 20 to 25 knots southerly shear in the mid levels. The satellite depiction and the lack of consolidation over the past 12 hours with all other factors being equal, suggests the mid-level shear may in fact be present, but cannot be confirmed without actual sound data. 
The motion vector over the last six hours has been a bit more westward than expected, though the high uncertainty surrounding the initial position means the actual motion vector is equally uncertain, regardless the system should start to turn southward over the next 12 hours or so as it approaches the axis of the ridge. By the 36 hour mark it should be around the axis and accelerating southeastward along the southwest periphery of the steering ridge. The system is forecast to track very close to Port Vienna, Vanuatu, making a CBA or CPA of 20 nautical miles or less around one Zulu then tracking down the remainder of the island group. As discussed earlier, the environment is very favourable for further intensification and will remain safe for the next 24 to 36 hours. The only thing holding back the cyclone is the moderate mid-level shear, the lack of consolidation uh, vortex. If the models are correct, the vortex should be solid the intensifying through the next 30 apology the vortex should establish within the next 12 hours and the system will rapidly intensify through 36 hours reaching a peak of 85 knots the good times don't last through and by the 48 hour mark an approaching mid latitude trough will move in from the west which while providing exceptionally good polar outflow will also dramatically increase the shear over the system likely decapitating the system fairly quickly the trough aloft also ushers in a punch of dry mid-level air effectively smothering the system and the combined effects of shear and dry air will effectively kill the cyclone as a tropical cyclone, rapid subtropical transition begins just after the 48 hour mark. So that's the uh, latest from uh, Force 13. Uh, we will continue to provide coverage uh, to this interesting uh, system. And I think Nathan will be back in a few hours with another update.